Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today I'll tell you about the shortest path algorithms. So the first shortest path algorithm is the ditch cartras algorithm. So let's see the history behind the ditch cartras algorithm and then we will understand how the algo works, right? So this algorithm, it was developed by the Dutch computer scientist Edsel by ditch in 1956. So how does this algorithm works? The algorithm works on the pattern that it gives a solution to a single source shortest path problem in the graph tube. So if a source vertex is given to us, we can calculate the shortest path from that source vertex to every vertex that is present in the graph. So here, this algorithm, it works good on both directed as well as undirected graphs. But however, we don't have any non-negative weights attached here. So it works for all the positive weighted graphs. Now, in this algorithm, what is our input? The input are, it's a weighted graph. That means every edge has some positive weight, right? And then what is the output? The output is the length of the shortest path from a given source vertex to all other vertices. That means if a source vertex has been identified in the graph, we can calculate the length of the shortest path from that source vertex to every other vertex that is present in the graph. Right? So now let's tell, let me tell you with the help of an example how this algorithm works on a weighted graph. So let's look at a question. So we have to calculate the shortest path from vertex A that has been marked with a pink color to every other vertex that is present in this graph, right? And you can see that it is a directed graph and every vertex has a weight associated with it, right? So how to start with this algorithm? What is step number one? In step number one, we will write the source vertex, the source set in which we will put all the vertices one by one. And we will identify the distances from that vertex to every other vertex in our graph. So let's come to step number one. So here in step number one, you can see that I have marked the source vertex with S. This is the source set. We will call this S as the source set. So what will the source set do? It will contain the vertices one by one. The manner we will select the vertices and it will tell you that from this is the path from the source vertex to the last vertex that we will cover up in this graph. And we will make a table over here from where we need to select the distances, right? So since we have to make the shortest path, so we will select the we will select that vertex which gives us the shortest path from the source vertex. So initially we will write all the vertices that is A, B, C, D, E, the vertices which is present in the graph. And since we have to calculate the shortest distance from vertex A, we will write vertex A under it. We will write zero. That means this will mark as the source vertex. And under all other vertex, we will write infinity. That means the distances have not been identified yet. Right. So once we will start improving the distances, we will write it below them. Right. So this is my first step, step number one. So you can see in step number one that the source set is empty and none of the distances are mentioned for any of these. Right. Now, from vertex A, if I start calculating the distances from other vertices, what do I find? That from vertex A to vertex B, the distance is N. Then from vertex A to vertex C, the distance is 3. We can also see that, okay, now in the source set, which will be the first vertex that will be inserted in the source vertex set, it will be vertex A because it is identified as the source vertex. So let's move to step number two. So in step number two, what we will do in your source set, so in the last step you saw that the source set was empty. So now in the source set, we will insert the first vertex that is A, the vertex which has been identified as the source vertex. Right now, from vertex A, we will try to calculate the distances of the vertices that can be covered from that particular vertex. So you can see that vertex B can be covered from vertex A, and what is the distance? The distance is 10. 
So under B, we had infinity. So now we have improved this distance. And now the distance is 10. Right? Then from vertex C can be covered from vertex A and the distance is 3. So you can see that under C, in the first step, we had written infinity. Now it has been improved to 3. Now, the rest of the vertices D and E, they cannot be covered from the source vertex A. We need more vertices to get covered, right? So, D and E cannot be covered and hence we will write it as infinity, right? Now, after step number 2 is complete, let us select which vertex has minimum distance from vertex A. So, you can see that out of 10 and 3, the minimum distance is 3. So, we will select vertex C. And now C will enter the source set, right? So now let's move to step number three. So in step number three, you can see that the source set has been improved. Earlier there was vertex A. Now we have also added one more vertex that is C. And in the figure you can see that vertex A has been, was earlier marked in pink. Now vertex C is also marked in pink because both the vertices are in the source set. Right? And you can see that the distances have been improved from infinity, infinity to 10, 3, infinity and infinity. And we will also mark this 3 because this was the minimum distance. Right? And whichever vertices are going inside the source set, we will highlight them. So you can see that P and C are highlighted. Right? Now let us further improve it. Now we have two vertices A and C in the source set. Now, the rest of the vertices can be covered through these two vertices. So, let us see how can we cover vertex B. Now, vertex B can be covered either from vertex A, the distance is 10, or you can also cover vertex B through vertex C. You can see that you can go from A to C through weight 3, and then you can go from C to B by weight 4. So, the distance is 7 now. So, out of 10 and 7, which one is minimum? It is 7. So, let us improve this distance and in the next step, that is step number 4, let us write down the new distances to be covered. Right? So, here you can see that under A was already 0, so B, earlier it was 10, so it has been now improved to 7. Right? C is already in the source set, so we will not write anything under C. Let us cover D and E. Now, how can we cover D? One way is A to B, B to D, but B, has in, B is not still in the source set, so we cannot go by this route. We have to take the route of either vertex A or vertex C. So we can cover D through A and C. So it is 3 plus 8, that is 11. So you can see that under vertex D we had infinity and now it is improved to 11. Right? Now, let us see how can we cover vertex E. We can cover through via C and the distance is 3 plus 2, that is 5. So you can see that under E, this has been improved or you can say that it has been modified and the new distance is 5. So we have three distances, 7, 11 and 5. So which one is minimum? It is 5. So we will select the vertex E and vertex E will now go inside the source. Right? And we will also highlight vertex E. So let's move on to step number 5 and let's see what is done in step number 5. So in step number 5, you can see that the source set has been improved. It is modified to A, C, E and we have highlighted E and the distance was 5. And you can also see that in the figure, vertex E has been marked in pink. So the pink vertices, they are in the source set. Now, we will cover D and D using these three. So let's go to the next step and let's improve the distances. So we have to repeat this process till all the vertices are covered. So let us go to step number six. So in step number six, you can see that can we improve B further? One way was you can go from A to B directly. The distance was 10. The second way is from 3, uh, sorry, A to C and then C to B. So the distance is 7. Is there any other route of going to B? There is no other route. So you can see that the distance 7 remains 7 only in the next step. Let us see, can we improve D? 
D also you can see there is only one root that is 3 plus 8 that is 11. So you can see that this also is not improved. So we have the same distances in the next step. So out of 7 and 11, which one is minimum? It is 7. So let us select 7. So that means vertex B will now be modified into the source set S. So let's move on to the 7th step, step number 7. And here you can see that the source set has been improved and now we have vertex B inside it. And you can also see that vertex B is highlighted in pink. Right? And you can also see that 7 has been highlighted and B vertex is highlighted. So we are only left with D. So that means we can cover up D through all these vertices. So let us see what are the various routes. One way is you can go from A to B, B to D. So the distance is 12. So this is one of the ways A to B and then B to D. The second way is you can go from A to C, C to B and B to D. A to C. B to B and B to D. So the total distance is 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. <coughs> Sorry. The next technique A to C, C to E, and then E to D. Right? This is another route A to C, C to E, and E to D. And what is the total distance? 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 9, it is 14. Right? Do we have some other way also? You can see that we can go from A to C and then directly to D through this route 3 plus 8, 11, right? So we can go from A to C and then C to D. Is there any other way? We can go from A to C, C to D and then D to D. So the total route is 3 plus 4 plus 2, that is again 9. So we can go from A to C, C to B and B to D. Okay, this we have already covered, right? So, I guess we have these four routes covering A to D. So, the minimum out of all of them is 9. So, let us improve this distance 11 by 9 in the next step. So, let's go to step number 8. So, in step number 8, you can see that we have improved 11 and from 11, the distance is now reduced to 9. So we are now left with D vertex only. So in the source set, in the next step, vertex D will go inside the source set. So let us move on to step number 9. And in step number 9, you can see that the source set has been modified and D vertex is now in the source set. So you can see that in this table, all the vertices have been highlighted, they have been covered. And you can see that under every vertex, one of the distances is highlighted. So that shows the minimum distance from the source set. That means from A to A, the minimum distance is 0. From A to B, the minimum distance is 7. From A to C, the minimum distance is 3. From A to D, the minimum distance is 9. From A to E, the minimum distance is 5. Right? So... The Dijkastra's algorithm, it helps us to calculate the shortest distance and the shortest path from the source vertex to every vertex that is present inside the graph. Right? So here we get, finally, we get the answer to all the shortest paths. So as I said, that you can see that for B, the shortest distance is 7 and the path is A to C, C to B. For vertex C, the shortest path is 3 and the root is A to C. For vertex D, the shortest path is distance is 9 and the path is A to C, C to B, B to D. And for vertex E, the shortest distance is 5 and the path is A to C, C to D. Right? So I hope the algorithm is clear to everybody. Right? So in the next slide, you will see that I have given you an exercise to solve. So you need to calculate the shortest distance and the shortest path from the vertex S to the remaining vertices in the following graph. Right? So do try this exercise and please give me in the comment section that were you able to calculate the distances and do write the distances also in the comment section. I'll reply it back whether you have done it correctly or not. Right? And also in the next slide you'll find the answer to this question. So once you complete solving it, just check your answer that whether you are getting this answer or not, right?
So thank you so much for listening to me. And if you like this video, do hit the like button. And those of you who haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Thank you so much. Believe in yourself and you will be able to see.